Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Format Cells dialog box in Excel to control all aspects of cell formatting for the currently selected cells in your worksheet. The Format Cells dialog box has six tabs that allow you to change cell properties. The sixth tab, Protection, is related to worksheet security and is discussed in the Advanced Excel class. It has no bearing on cell formatting. The other five tabs in this dialog box that do control cell formatting are Number, Alignment, Font, Border, and Fill. To apply formatting using this dialog box, you would first select the cell or cell range to which you want to apply cell formatting. You can then click the Format button in the Cells group on the Home tab in the ribbon and select the Format Cells command from the Buttons drop-down menu to display the Format Cells dialog box. Within this dialog box, you then select the tab that contains the formatting aspects that you want to apply. Change any settings that you need to within each tab and then click the OK button to close the dialog box and apply all of your settings to the selected cell or cell range. Now we will review what formatting options are available in each tab from left to right within the dialog box. You can click the Number tab to set the formatting for number display in the selected cells. You can click on the names of the different types of numeric formatting in the list at the left side of this tab to view a description of the format and examples of the format to the right. This can also be used to remove unwanted number formatting from selected cells. To do this, you would first select the cells from which you want to remove the number formatting, and then select the General Number Format from the list on this tab in order to set the display of numbers in the selected cells back to their default, which is General. So as always, click the OK button when you're done making your formatting changes to apply formatting to the selected cells. Now on the Alignment tab, you can set both the horizontal and vertical alignment of cell contents, set cell content indentation, rotate cell contents, and select either the Wrap Text, Shrink to Fit, or Merge Cells checkboxes as needed. Now, one useful thing that this tab allows you to do is also unmerge a merged cell. So if you had a cell selection, which was merged into a single cell, you can bring up the Alignment tab on the Format Cells dialog box and uncheck the Merge Cells checkbox. Click the OK button when you're finished to restore the merged cells back into the independent cells. Also on the Alignment tab, you have the ability to change text direction. Some languages like English and other European languages print from left to right. Other languages like Hebrew and Arabic print from right to left. You can change the order of the letters in the text box here for the language that you're using. It's not really a frequently used function, but it is located on this tab if you ever need it. Now in the Font tab, you can set all your font display options. You can select the desired font face to use for the cell's display by choosing the desired font from the font list. You can then select a size from the size list, and you can also choose a font style from the font style list. You can also select a type of underlining to apply from the Underline drop-down. You can also use the Color drop-down to set the font color. In the Effects section, you can check or uncheck any of the three special effects, Strike Through, Superscript, or Subscript. And there's a preview window that lets you preview the font that you've created before applying it. On the Border tab, you can set printed border display options for your selected cells. You can start by clicking on a line style in the Line section to select a line style. Then click the color drop down below that to set the color of the border lines. To determine where the selected lines will be applied, 
click the desired border button that surrounds the preview of the border shown in the border section. If you want to apply one of the preset borders that are available, then you can click the None option, Outline, or Inside buttons that are available in the Preset section to apply a preset cell border instead. Note that you can select the None choice to remove all cell borders from the selected cells. Now on the Fill tab, you can set the fill color, fill effects, or fill pattern for any selected cells. Simply pick the fill color that you'd like to apply from the available palette shown in the background color section to apply the selected fill color to the selected cells. Note that if you need a more specific color, you can click the More Colors button to open the Colors dialog box. In the Colors dialog box, you can create almost any color you desire. This dialog box is available in almost all of the places that you can choose a color in Excel. You can either click the Standard tab, and then select one of the colors shown in the Honeycomb of Color Choices, or you can click the Custom tab and then select the color that you want. If you've opened the color dialog box to select a color, then click the OK button once you've made a color choice to return back to the Format Cells dialog box. If you want, you can now apply a simple two-color gradient as the fill effect for your selected cells. To do this, just click the Fill Effects button to open the Fill Effects dialog box and display the Gradient tab. You can then use the Color 1 and Color 2 drop-down color pickers to select the two colors to use for your gradient. In the Shading Style section, choose a direction for the gradient. Then, depending upon your selection made in the Shading Style section, you can choose the specific variant of the style that you want to use from the choices shown in the Variants section. Once you've made your choice, click the OK button at the bottom of the Fill Effects dialog box to return to the Fill tab in the Format Cells dialog box. If you wanted to instead apply a pattern to your selected cells, you can use the Pattern Color drop-down to select the pattern color that you want to use, and then choose a pattern style from the pattern style drop-down. Be aware that applying a pattern to a cell that has content within it will make the cell's contents almost impossible to read when printed. Now when you've set all of the desired formatting that you want to apply to the selected cells in all of the tabs on the Format Cells dialog box, just click the OK button to apply all of your changes to the selected cells in your worksheet. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.